Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Tactics Ogre Reborn walkthrough. Uh, so last video there we uh, did the Hagia Ban Hamuba. <laughs> Very fun. <laughs> it's fun to say that. Um, but anyways, uh, I, I, I want to check in here at uh, the Fidot Castle here really quickly. Um, my assumption here is we should have some plot related stuff to do. So let's take a look. Here you've learned the whereabouts of the princess? She was spotted with a party of dark knights training at Barnesia Castle. Abuna Maruva, is the king's tomb located at Barnesia? I do not know. I had already left the city when the king passed. Yet I find their actions baffling. How so? I heard no claims that the king had been buried anywhere but the royal mausoleum. I am sure that the queen and prince rest there, in the city. So they search for a different tomb? When we reach Banisha, we'll know. True enough. I doubt Branton expects us to move on them there. And we should have the support of the people if we're seen as wresting the princess from the hands of the Dark Knights. I am inclined to agree. We prepare for war, then. Send one legion to Yerumza Canyon to draw the Bakram forces' attention. While they are so occupied, I will lead a detachment directly on Barnesia. As you command, sir. Much hangs in the balance. Let us pray the chariot rides with us. All right, the shops have new items in stock. I'm going to take a look here at the Warren Report. And yes, we've got all kinds of stuff now. So it says, Resistance and Order Unite. Uh, Archiaris Maruva was leader of the Order of Filaha during the rule of King Dorgalua. He was ousted by Regent Morn, who was Exarch at the time, and fled Heim to continue his work alone. It has recently come to light that Maruva has joined forces with the Resistance. Maruva is immensely popular and will serve as a strong ally to the Resistance. Uh, next up says Resistance on the March. Resistance forces are advancing on Haim. A large Bakram contingent has also been seen leaving the capital. However, no Dark Knights accompany the Bakram, lending weight to rumors of a falling out between them. The armies will soon clash head to head. Uh, next up here is the mysterious blacks, <laughs> mysterious blast on Exeter. Mysterious blast has been heard on Exeter, an island northwest of the Valyrian mainland. Exeter is the site of the dungeon known as the Palace of the Dead. Many have entered its hall seeking riches, but the few who have returned did so empty-handed. Some believe the blast to be magical in nature. I believe that uh, is going to unlock the Palace of the Dead for us. Yeah, so now we've got all of the battles that lead uh, to the Palace of the Dead, and we'll actually be able to head in there. I'll be doing that fairly soon, I believe, but I think I'm going to take care of some other things first, specifically some recruitment. Uh, let's go back into the Warren Report and finish the rest of these topics. Um, all right, so the Pirate's Graveyard is uh, has opened now as well. Uh, it says, on the island of Odalark, after or off the southernmost tip of Valeria, are a series of undersea caverns known as the Pirate's Graveyard. They are legendary among treasure hunters, said to hold untold riches in their depths. The caverns are known for one other thing. Countless pirates and thieves have sought to claim the treasures of the cavern as their own, but most lose their lives before even setting foot inside. Currents from the south and northwest converge in the waters surrounding the Pirate's Graveyard, and its reefs make navigation difficult. For all but the most skilled sailors, on reaching the caverns, explorers must contend with all manner of deadly creatures, and it is littered with the corpses of failed adventurers. It is no wonder that none have yet claimed the treasures said to lie within. Um, all right, so that should open up another uh, event down here at the Kadriga Fortress. think though yeah before we can get down there I think we'll have to do the um, uh, a 
fight. So, Sir Lancelot has not yet returned. Let us hope he is all right. <coughs> you should get some rest. Your wounds have yet to fully mend. I'm fine. I think I've staved off death another day. So, Warren, there was something I wanted to ask you. Hmm, this has the sound of something serious. Why did you come to our isles? The real reason. Why do you want to know? If your ends are the same as Lotus, I would ask you to return to Zenobia. Oh. I have no wish to fight you. If you've another purpose here, perhaps I can help. I already told you. We were banished. The truth, Warren. Ah, very well. The truth, then. We are here on an errand for our king. But I assure you, we have no designs on Valeria. Our true purpose is quite different. We will return as swift as possible, Majesty. This banishment was a necessary evil. Fool a friend to fool a foe, or so they say. We deserve no less. The safekeeping of the blade was our sworn duty. On the honor of the Holy Knights, we will return Brynhilde to its rightful place. Whatever Lotus's reason for taking the blade, it belongs here. See it done, Lancelot. Your Majesty. Brynhilde? All this intrigue over a sword? No ordinary sword. It is said that he who wields Brynhilde wields a conduit to the wisdom of the gods and to their wrath. I cannot vouch for the legend, but regardless, the sword is an ancient Zenobian heirloom. We must retrieve it at any cost. And it was the Dark Knights who stole it. Quite right. We were convinced they had taken the sword to Lotus, Yet all the while it was in Valeria. Did they bring it here as mere subterfuge or for some deeper purpose? We must, <coughs> must find out. <coughs> I dislike the sound of that cough. We had better rest now. Think no more on the sword. We will find it. And when we do, it will be safe. I've no doubt of that, Denner. Thank you. Right. Yeah, it wouldn't be a uh, wouldn't be an RPG if we weren't finding legendary swords. Uh, let's take a look at the shop, though, really quick. Here we are, though. Uh, so here we've got our next level of uh, of spells, uh, projectile spells, anyway. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of the projectile spells. One, two, three, major heal, resurrect. Alright, um, 
So yeah, new spells, I guess. Uh, what else was I gonna do? Huh. Yeah, don't remember what I was gonna do here. Huh. Well... Yeah, maybe we just, uh... Forget. Move on, then! So, I'm a little nervous that I'm going to be getting into a battle down here at uh, Crisaro. Uh, basically, uh, once you've got Hobram's uh, loyalty above 50, which is really, really easy to do, uh, if you're worried or you're not, or his loyalty isn't high enough, um, and because, let me start with, the way that you check it is to just hit the select button and then hover over their name, and that'll tell you or give you basically it's a range right so this it says this unit supports you in all things a loyal ally to the end that's basically capped out um, you can take a look I don't, I don't remember all of the different phrases that they say but uh, it's just know that it's really really easy to actually uh, you know get get your loyalty up uh, the only thing that I did with Hobram here was actually I, I swapped him over to Dragoon and then I equipped him with a sword and a crossbow and all he really did was gain, I think he gained like three levels, and then, uh, what is it, it looks like three levels with the sword, and two, well, technically he gained two levels with the sword, right, because he starts at level one, and then he gained one level with the crossbow, and boom, that capped him out. Um, though, to be, to be fair, I've never, uh, he's never been incapacitated, right, which would lower uh, loyalty, so I guess just keep that in mind, but yeah, very, very easy to, uh, to get your loyalty up, but... Um, above 50 loyalty, uh, I think once you go over across Crisaro, uh, you will um, you'll uh, you'll start a battle there. Uh, I'm gonna head over to the Pirate's Graveyard here really quickly, and uh, and just enter, and then I'm gonna leave right away. That should um, that should trigger another um, that should trigger another scene. But I think it's at the uh, Kadriga Fortress. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to get past Crisaro into Kadriga. And I've, again, well, I think what's going to happen here is I'm going to end up uh, triggering a battle. Uh, so I'm actually going to I'm going to make sure to put that in the next video, uh, and I'm just going to end this one here. So as always, I hope the guide was helpful, and thank you for watching.